Well, this one scares me, you know. Um, I saw The Wailing recently, which is a Korean film, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, no. I think Westerns, musicals. I like to do a pirate movie. Uh, but, you know, Jerry's got done some pretty good pirate, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, but they're comedy. I like to do a, a serious pirate movie. Um, goes on. Well, here's the thing. With Empire, we are constantly ad-libbing. We're constantly, you know, it, we, they they encourage that, you know. But with this, I couldn't ad-lib when I'm and, and you know just make things up when I'm sitting there and I'm like a uh, HB47 da, 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 and and Ridley would come in and be like, yeah, this is a uh, this is real shit from NASA. So so oh, I just swore. He would. I hope you beat that. Um, but he'd say that it was coming from NASA, so it was legit. It was real, and and we had to remember that. So my mind. I didn't have no drinks, nothing the night before. I was definitely practicing all of that. Yeah. Uh, I think that we're just gluttons for punishment. I think human beings love to have the shit scared out of them, and this franchise does that time and time again. The alternative is unimaginable to me. Uh, an alien film without a woman at the center of it fighting for her life and, you know, more or less succeeding. Um, and I am very proud to be a part of that legacy. It's a it's a beautiful opportunity to uh, to work with you know some of the greatest artists in this industry and uh, being a big fan of uh, Ridley Scott forever you know I'm a huge admirer of his uh, work it was just an, an honor to be able to chat with him when we met and after that when he called me to actually be a part of the uh, spaceship that was a double triple happiness. Uh, but I was already happy just to be able to shake his hand and tell him how much he meant, you know, for me.